And well, it's fun to give unexpected gifts to a party host. So how about this? A book. I think it's a great idea. And as Carol Barrowman says, maybe you can trade it for leftovers <laughs> later, too. <laughs> I like that. Carol's back after chatting with us and author Amy Tan. And she's chatting about four books that she's particularly thankful for. Carol's a professor of English at Alverno College and a reviewer for the journal Sentinel. Thanks for sticking around with oh, us. Oh, I'm so pleased to be here this morning. I know you yes. are. It's kind of a fun morning for you as well. Let's kind of get to some of these four books. These are four books that you're thankful for, starting with the first one, I Am Malala, which I've yes. not heard of. My first two books are books that are nonfiction, and this is the, the this is the young woman who was shot by the Taliban oh. um, a couple maybe a, more than a year ago I think for speaking out against uh, education in Pakistan for mm -hmm. girls so she worked with a journalist a, um, a foreign correspondent and this is her story and it's written just in Malala's voice it's beautiful I'm gonna try to figure out a way to work it into a class and I think if um, there's a high school um, English class or social studies really interested in a, a good book she's 15 years old and oh. she was shot in the head mm -hmm. in a school bus because she was advocating that women in Pakistan be educated huh. so now she's she can't go home obviously um, for now but she has just become a symbol of feminism and women's education and the book reads as if she was talking to you I highly recommend how it. old Highl is she now she, she I think she's only 15 or 16 now, now? Okay. yeah I think so or maybe she, she was 15 excuse me she was 15 when she was shot so okay. I think she's 16 now the yeah. fact that she survived that yeah. is the most unbelievable incredible story and I know that her voice in this book is reminiscent to you of Anne Frank's diary which is an mm -hmm. incredible read the other one paddle your own canoe one man's fundamentals <laughs> for delicious living and this is by Nick Offerman a lot of people know him as a comedian and he's in Parks and Rec he plays Ron Swanson I picked this one for Tiffany I'm always <laughs> looking for funny books <laughs> for Tiffany I love laugh out loud books this is a laugh out loud okay. book it's it's wonderful. I think anybody who um, is looking for a fun gift to give somebody, even a, a male or female reader that you have in your family who likes a fast read, it's hilarious. It's like listening to his stand up. Okay. It, it's a little irreverent. And if you're, uh, I'm not sure if you're a vegan, it's the book you want to read because <laughs> <laughs> he, he likes his meat. <laughs> but it's a great book. It's Tiffany a great book. Her meat too. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are moving right along. The next book is the circle. Novel. It's called The Circle. <laughs> it's called The Circle, and this is a book by Dave Edgers. And this is a satire that's one of those books where it, you think you're reading about a utopia. It's set in a kind of an imaginary Google um, Apple campus, you know, like they've got the big, uh, um, it's an industrial complex that produces social media, mm -hmm. um, and this, it ends up being a real thriller, and this woman, she's in her 20s, she gets the ideal job, she thinks it's the perfect job, it's everything she could ever want, free parties, every all, all sorts of cool stuff, but then things start to go bad and dark, and you realize that Dave Eggers is really satirizing what social media mm -hmm. is doing to us as human beings, to our interactions, to our workplaces, well, it's like, very scary I, stuff. I told Tiff just this morning, yeah. we were talking, putting on our makeup, I said it is the new frontier of parenting. The, the social media and phones have changed the way mm -hmm. the world, and we're the first generation of parents who have to deal with this, so I think this novel is And so I didn't timely. think about this, but I think this would be a great book to give to a teen who's obsessed yeah. with social media. It could be real it, I don't know I, I didn't even think Could about curtail that but their, it uh, might curtail <laughs> them just good. a bit <laughs> I like I always think like when I rewatch the movie Wally -E, it reminds me of our society today all the everything is like you know this is pre this would be pre Wally -E, pre Wally -E. pre Wally -E. -E. <laughs> all right what about let him go by Larry Watson the, uh, as you know Larry Watson a local writer he um, t teaches at Marquette and he writes a lot about the west the old west this is set in Montana North Dakota in the 50s it's it's one of his best books I loved Montana, which was one of his books very early on. This one is about a couple who go to sort of rescue their grandson from a very dysfunctional family after their son dies. Mm -hmm. And um, they try, they're going to go rescue him, and it sort of releases all sorts of emotions, and, and it, it becomes sort of a family war between mm -hmm. them. Incredible. He's a professor at Marquette. He's a We're professor at Marquette. Put Great up, writer. Put up Carol's information so you know how to get a hold of her. She answers viewer questions, so you can get in touch with her anytime, carolbarrowman.com. Um, and Montana was actually a book my daughter's a freshman in high oh, school. Yeah. That's one of the books they're reading this I'm year. I'm glad to hear it. I, Watson, everybody should read Larry Watson. It's awesome. Yeah. Great to have yeah. you. And thanks, thanks for Carol. joining our interview Thank with, you for uh, letting our me chat sit in. with Amy Tan. It was awesome. awesome. I appreciate it. I love her so much. Thanks. Come back soon. Right. We always love it. Uh,